So we're going to have a look at the interactive search option with uh, Piotnet Grid. So there we have our search bar, and if I type in the word bean, for example, then the, the beanies appear. If I was to go with uh, hoodie, I can just put the word hood in, and the products with the word hood appear. If I wanted to go with, um, let's try something else, let's say anything with a logo in it, then all the products with the logo appear. What's also nice is the way that the setting is made for this search is that you have this update of the page URL, which means that if I was to go and say, have a look at this hoodie with the logo, and then I navigate it with the back bar back to my search results, those search results are still available to me. I can navigate to each product and then back to the search results. So that's quite a neat option. So to see how this is all set up, I'm going to head into the back end here and you'll see I'm here in Piotnet Grid and I'm in the facet section and here are all the facets. So I'm going to make a new facet search so you can see how that's created. So we'll say add new and what I'll do is I'll call this a new search, we'll publish that. And then what I'm going to do is edit that with Piotnet Grid. So we hit the edit button and now Piotnet Grid will load up. And now we'll see how to create that facet. So from this page here, we'll simply select the facet. We'll drag it across. The facet options come up and what we'll do is we'll change the filter type from select to search. And then we're going to put our own, so we'll just put a placeholder there, new search, and we'll save that. So there we've created the first uh, step. Now what we'll do is we'll head over to our oxygen, and you'll see now that I'm going to, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just refresh this oxygen um page so that we can get that new facet into the list of facets available here on the left hand side. So oxygen loading. So oxygen is loaded and that was the old search so I'm going to delete that facet and now I'm going to add a new facet. So add Piotnet grid and I'm going to head over to facet here and we'll select a facet which is the new search and now we're going to apply for grid and we're going to say oxygen and in order for the search to work now we need to have this unique ID on the grid as well as um, here and the idea is applied to the grid as an ID and it's also applied as a class so you must have this format Piotnet grid dash ID dash and you can uh, add whatever reference you want after the dash so this is grid number two and what we'll do then is in our searcher in this uh, block we'll put in piotnet grid dash id dash two so that it matches up we can just say apply that parameter and now what we're going to do is save that and then what we're going to do is head over to the front end Right, so here we are on the front end. We're loading that up, and there's our search. And let's type in a search term. So I'll type in the word bean for beanie, and the beanies will appear. Let's go with hoodie for hoodie. And you'll see that the behavior is the same. I've included the update in the URL. And when I click on the hoodie with logo, and then I go back then the search terms are remembered. If I don't want to update that, I can go into uh, my facet and I can say disable, disable add the parameter URL and we'll save that. Now when I head back to my product page and I refresh, you'll see that um, Uh, we just refresh the page with the parameter in it so of course it will show so what I'm going to do is just click on shop to remove that and now if I type in a search so let's say uh, hoodie again 
you'll see that the URL isn't updated. The search results are. I'm going to go to hoodie with logo. And now when I hit the back button, it still shows the hoodie search results because of the search term in the search bar. So you don't have to have the URL enabled in order to return to search results after looking at a product. So that's really good news. So likewise here, I look at the beanies, I go through to the product page, I hit the back button, and I'm back at the search results with the beanies and the search term is still in the search box. If we want to go back to all the products, just simply remove the search term and we're back to the default shop view. So that's how easy it is to add the interactive search. So I hope you enjoyed watching the video and thank you for watching.